We all know that being able to efficiently navigate through code can be a huge time saver. I'm going to give you some code navigation tips using an Angular project. So let's begin by using Control Shift T to bring up the open type, or in this case, symbol dialog. Say I want to open the product list component, I can just type that in to start the filtering, or I can use this notation as well. Now that I have the component open, uh, uh, let's say I want to navigate further within this project and I'm going to press Control to enable hyperlink navigation. You can see um, uh, it's enabled for a large number of elements in this file, but I'm going to go ahead and click the template to open up the template um, in the editor. Uh, okay, let's say I want to move on to the style for this component and I'm going to use the breadcrumb toolbar. You can see that it, it lists for me all the files in this particular folder. I'm going to click the, the CSS file and it opens up the styling module uh, as well. Now, uh, the breadcrumb toolbar is very handy when you're working with, uh, with groups of related files or when you're, when you're exploring um, a new project. Um, we can also use something that's oft forgotten, Control e uh, which brings up um, a little filter covering open editors. You can, you can type in to start filtering and use that to navigate, especially handy when you have a large number of open, um, open editors. And finally, we also have the filter here. Uh, I can just filter based on um, all file name and you can see all files say with uh, with category in their name have been brought up for me. So uh, that takes care of navigating um, between files but what, what happens, uh, what can you use when you want to navigate within a file? Something I'm fond of is the minimap and you can see that uh, this is um, a graphical outline if you will um, of the file that you're currently editing. Uh, very handy for navigating through la large files with visually distinct blocks of code that you're kind of familiar with. Uh, you can also, of course, use uh, the good old outline view to navigate uh, navigate within a file. But uh, one of my favorites, uh, kind of underrated, is Control O to bring up the um, the quick outline. So you can see that uh, this also is a filtered list. So I can type in say uh, small and it takes me to that particular piece of code or pre goes over there. And the quick outline um, actually works for all uh, all types of files. So not just CSS, of course, um, let's say here. Yeah. And um, again, one of my favorite navigation, uh, navigation tricks. So do you have a nifty navigation trick that we've missed? Let us know in the comments. And before we wrap up, don't forget to see how CodeLive allows you to navigate between your Angular app running in the browser and source code in the IDE. Follow the link below to learn more.